Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are doing part two of our commute back home. If you haven't watched my first part, part one, it's very interesting. It was night driving, so a little bit of night driving and a lot of traffic and rush hours. So if you really want to see how FSD beta does perform, uh, oh, I have to say 69.3.1, uh, how it performs with traffic during commute, typical like maybe 7.30ish driving time uh, go ahead and uh, click on the video video link on the top of my video over here also if you want to see the stats for that I can post it right now uh, and you can see the stats of how how much energy does it take driving at minus 20 degrees Celsius that's pretty 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 cold for uh, for a Tesla to be driving in and if you haven't yet, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot and will boost my viewers. So thank you very much. It will keep me doing this for a longer, longer time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support so far. Yeah, I'll get us out of the parking lot over here and make sure that my GPS is working properly. Sometimes it needs to be recalibrated whenever I'm in a, park in a parkade going around in, in circles. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so it seems like our GPS has calibrated finally, so I'm gonna engage FSD beta over here. I'm really, really impressed how it's able to drive in these conditions. We can hardly see any lanes on the road, and this is a four lane street. It does tend to get a little bit too close to other cars, to be honest. But, um, you know, it's not the end of the world. You just have to be a little bit more um, careful whenever it does that. It did kind of move lanes over here, I think, without... Uh, just because there's another car that actually also moved it uh, went from one lane to another without indicating so I don't I think FSD but I got a little bit messed up with that due to that so yeah the roads are very slippery right now any sudden braking the car is kind of fishtailing a little bit let's say it's not too uh, not too intense though if um, if I feel like I'm losing control or the car's losing control or I want to regain control. Oh, here we go. Not too happy with that car getting too close to us. So that was a takeover immediately bug. And that happens whenever FSD beta gets a little bit too um, um, confused, let's say with these conditions. So yeah, whenever I feel like the car is slipping too much or there might be a situation where we might be putting ourselves or our car in, in a danger situation, I can just regain control, take back the, the steering wheel and brake or disengage and then uh, slowly neutralize the situation by, you know, changing the direction of the steering wheel so that it, uh, I can uh, stop the car from slipping or anything like that. So car is now getting a little bit confused with the lanes again it's just a little bit that it uh, figures out that it's kind of going out of the lane so it goes back to where it was again I really like how it corrects itself it gives you a little bit more confidence on uh, in FSD's driving so we are indicating to overtake this car and go to the second lane I really like it. It's assertive. Even though we slipped a little bit, it regains control back again and it uh, keeps on going. It doesn't uh, break all of a sudden. Getting a little bit too close to that car on the right. Not too bad though. And look at this. We don't even see any lane right now. 
I can hardly see the dotted lines on the on the street. It is uh, the trajectory is going left and right a little bit because it's unsure, but it's still driving straight, almost straight. Love it. This is amazing. This is truly, truly amazing. Good job, FSD Beta team. Slow and steady on the snow is the way to go. <laughs> I can't believe that rhymed. <laughs> and you can see some cars are passing me. It's not all the cars. Only a few cars want to go faster than 48 on a 60. indicating right going a little bit too fast for my liking uh, it slows down right now so not too bad I was going to intervene maybe disengage but it did a good job and in, in slowing down again nice gradual acceleration on the takeoff for this uh, intersection It's nice and sunny, but don't be fooled. It's minus 18 degrees, so. Yeah, temperatures are still low and, uh, but no issues with fogging on the windshield. If you folks like me to drive a little bit more in cold conditions like this, um, test drive anything uh, in particular you're, you're curious about for Tesla. Uh, let me know, especially for our Model Y. Ooh, and a lot of braking in front of us. Yeah, our car's braking, but it's fishtailing a little bit, but no issues at all. I had my, my, my foot hovering over the brake pad just to make sure, a brake pedal, sorry, just to make sure uh, if I need to disengage. But I'm feeling very confident, and I'm with FSD, and uh, I like the way it's driving, so... On the way back, typically from the commute from work, on the way back home, I don't really get um, a lot of disengagements just because I think the route is a little bit more uh, easier for FSD to handle. So, so far so good, no disengagements and interventions. We should be turning right uh, probably after another two traffic lights. So we should be turning over here. We're changing lanes to the right lane over here. Should do it, come on. Okay, so we've got the indicator. Nice. And this uh, turn over here is filled with snow. Oh, we're getting a little bit too fast for this turn. Nice braking. Checks the road is empty and it keeps on going. Awesome. Ooh, and I'm gonna have to press that. So I had to intervene over there. Um, it didn't want to. It didn't want to go past the uh, the train tracks. Very slow acceleration here at this intersection, and it, we're also keeping a very safe distance uh, from the truck in front of us. It's a little bit too much of a distance for my liking. I'm not sure what's the reason behind that. Yeah, we don't need to indicate to go through there. Yeah, not sure what that was all about. Uh, I disengaged just so that I can give that feedback back to the FSD Beta team. Okay, so we're indicating to go to the left lane, which is correct because we're coming up to two turning uh, left turning lanes over here near uh, in a moment. Oh, we shouldn't really change back over here. It does that every now and then. Yeah. Not so good, to be honest. Okay. 
another indicator to go to this turning lane over here. That was okay, I guess. Yeah, a little bit awkward driving over there. You know, I'd be worried a little bit for the folks behind me. They might think I'm driving under influence or something. <laughs> okay, hopefully it does this turn good. Uh, it's too... Yeah, it's correcting itself, but it's still sliding a lot. Let's bump up the speed over here. It's doing quite well right now, driving in uh, between the snow banks. A little bit of phantom braking every now and then, but not too intense, to be honest. So we're indicating to go to the right lane. Yeah, it does this awkward thing where it jumps a little bit too, too much to the right, just because we got a lot of snow in, in the, uh, on the dividing line, I guess. And we kind of stopped in between two lanes. That's not very good. And we're starting to get cars behind us. I'm gonna leave it for now. I know it, it's not a very good move, but for the sake of uh, driving FSD, I'm just gonna... It's correcting itself right now and going behind that car, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna bump up the speed a little bit just because there are cars coming up behind me. And yeah, FSD Beta is not very happy changing lanes again without even indicating, so that's not very good. That was a little bit of uh, confusion. Also due to the conditions. We are signaling to go right again. I know it wants to stay right, but it's not really sure where the lanes are correctly, and it's gonna do this thing where it's gonna jump here. Okay, that was a little bit more of a smoother lane changing process, I guess. And we should be turning right over here. Yeah, and it's uh, it's realizing that it's missing the turn. So, yeah, it's a little bit too close to that snow bank over there. Oh, and it is accelerating, so I'm going to have to disengage. All right, I don't want it to, I don't want to slide into that snow bank, so another disengagement, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess like with these conditions, you got to wait like a day or two before starting to use FSD again, just to clear up most of the snow from the streets. It's all over the place right now. And we should be turning left over here. It struggles with this turn a little bit. But finally gets it. And now we've got this left turn, in, left turn over here. I'm quite confident with it doing this left turn properly. It always does it in a very good way. Yeah. Nicely done. We do have a car coming behind us. I'm gonna bump up the speed a little bit. And now we should be coming up to this right turn over here. And this one could be a slippery one as well. And oh my god, it does this thing where it widens up a little bit for the for a turn. And it struggles whenever there's no lanes to it always does that. That's some very, very awkward driving. gets too close to the parked cars as well. I 
Let's see what that car over there is. It gonna take the right uh, lane or? It really, really likes to mess up in this intersection. But then it kind of straightens up over here. It's probably some uh, some map data issue. Ooh, and we're getting too close over there. Yeah, and I had to disengage. Okay, so we're coming up to this left turn. It's pretty clear on the left and the right, so should be straightforward does struggle a little bit with this whenever there's a lot of snow on it yeah not too bad though it just took a long time for it to commit so yeah I'll wrap up over here as usual uh, I guess like maybe three four disengagements a few like interventions yeah it's not too good in the snow conditions like this normally yeah like after it snows and um, after a very cold weather, it's minus 21 right now. When it warms up and uh, some of the snow melts off the street, it um, works much more better. And uh, we probably get down the disengagements, like another one or two disengagements less. So yeah, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's not the FSD is not ready for snow by any um, by any exaggeration over here. Um, but is it drivable? I guess it is for training purposes and for testing purposes, I would say, but not very comfortable for for daily use or like day-to-day -day use. So this is our last left turn over here. Stop, there's a car coming up from our right. And it, it notices that and then, yeah, it does this turn okay this time actually. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I uh, really hope you like this. If, uh, if you really like these type of videos, please uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. And yeah, I'll see you in, guys in another video. Have a nice day.